kind of music makes me want to smoke cigarettes and dance around. I know. I want to nail a girl on a poodle skirt. JK, 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 JK. Why? I Why do you got to be JK? That just seems graphic. I shouldn't have said it. I'd nail a girl in a poodle skirt. All right. Two for two. We would do it. Do you have any... Uh, is there, like, any outfit that really uh, does it for you? Like, are you, like, uh, garter belts and stockings? That's, like... No. Like, if you're going to make somebody dress up, is there, like, an outfit? Like, like a some made outfit? some super boring cliche. A taco outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Cheeseburger. <laughs> Cheeseburger in a bikini. Yeah, anything with a mustard stain. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have any... I mean, like, obviously, like, a lady in a, a good-looking outfit is yeah. great, but... The whole French maid thing. Like, like lingerie doesn't do like anything It's like people have you. found, like, the most boring ways to be exciting. It's so funny. Yeah. I never got the, like, when people were like, uh, ooh, whips and chains and, like, whipped cream. It's like, what it's, the fuck are you no, talking about? It's just like people sex? need some sort of, like, hand cliche cuffs, identity ooh. created for them so they got can some, have fun. Got some handcuffs. <laughs> some fuzzy handcuffs. Yeah. Let's say the word naughty all the time. Yeah. Let's squirt chocolate sauce all over ourselves. <laughs> the food thing is disgusting. I can't yeah. get into that at Who all. Who wants to eat anything <laughs> while you're having sex? I mean, I do, but a sometimes it's just to like save time because I do a lot of both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, guys, you're in store for uh, this is our most professional podcast yet. Oh, it's such a pro ep. Yeah, it's such a pro ep. We got a legit uh, superstar. Skyping in from Westchester, New York. Oh, we have to edit out his address. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. Um, but in the meantime, after you listen to this, this is a treat for everyone. Uh, final four shows of my career. I'm quitting comedy after this weekend. I'm About doing uh, shows at the Tacoma Comedy Club in Tacoma, Washington, which is close enough to Seattle if you live there. Come out. Uh, it's Friday, February 19th. And Saturday, February 20th, shows at 8 and uh, 10.30. I'll do a sound bite after that. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Friday, February 19th, Saturday, February 20th, Tacoma Comedy Club, Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You broke your soundboard. <laughs> broke it. <laughs> that's this weekend. So come see that. Those shows should be fun. Tacoma's a fun town, and uh, so I'll have fun there. Uh, March 3rd through 6th, Rooster Tea Feathers in Sunnyvale, California. And guess what? March 1st through 5th, I'll be at Rumors in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So wow, it's a long week. That same, uh, same week, me and you. Yeah, so if you're in uh, Manitoba, you go see Randy. If you're in uh, Northern California, go see me. If you're in Scottsdale, Arizona, March 10th through 12th, see old BW there too. Uh, stand up Scottsdale. So, um, and also, you know, follow us on Twitter. My up, my uh, website is brendanwalsh.com. That's I, it's all updated for the new year. Hell yeah. Also, Got a new look. Brendan and I will be in uh, Austin, Texas. Yes. April 20th through the 23rd performing and doing a live podcast, possibly with a new friend. We'll see. I mean, Johnny will be there. Oh yeah, but there was discussion on this podcast of maybe having oh, a Trivago for that guy one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, and the Trivago, yeah, yeah. I guess if you read the title of uh, this, it's you know the Trivago guys on it, so we might hang our out with him friend, in Austin. Our new Trivago. Well, definitely. Guy. I think we could get him to come to L.A. just to like we should just do a show, put a, put together a show. Yeah, <laughs> us and the Trivago guy. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Uh, go to bonezonepodcast.com. If you're going to buy anything off of Amazon, there's an Amazon link on the front page of our website. Click there, buy things that you would buy, and we get a small kickback for that. Mm -hmm. uh, there's still shirts and all sorts of stuff for sale on our website. And yeah, we still have to do a new shirt. We my really album, are. my album's still available. It's called "I'm on a Roll." Go out and listen to it or buy it. Do me a favor, support me and Brendan. Yeah, I have a. Oh, you know, I have a shirt that I designed, uh, a David Bowie style shirt. That's on, right. Uh, it's on the Teespring website. You're gonna have to order it. I think you only have one more day. I think you have to order it today. Oh shit! So, uh, Teespring, T E E S P R I N G dot com backslash Blowy, B L O W I E. David Blowy. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, enjoy this episode.
in my ass and poop on my dick. Poop on my legs and poop on my knees and poop on my feet and poop on my mouth and poop in my face and poop on my eyes and poop in my ears and smish it in my hair and rub it in my mouth and rub it on my lips and rub it on my neck down to my chest. Rub it on my clavicle, rub it on my back. Massage your poop into my shoulders. Use your poop just like a massage oil. Use your poop just like a massage oil. Use your poop just like a massage oil. Rub it all over, rub it all over, rub it all over, rub it all over. Rub your shit all over my back. Rub your shit all over my chest. Don't forget to get that shit all over my stomach and in my belly button. Down in my pubes, mix up the poop. In poop in my pubes, mix up the poop. In poop in my pubes, mix up the poop. Poop in the pubes, poop on my dick. Rub it on my dick, use a poop as a lube. Rub it on the dick, use a poop as a lube. Dude, that's a hot track. Uh, that was laid down by Cool Kojak. Man, we got to get in the studio again soon, son. Dude, I got to do my... Uh, I was talking to our boy Spod over the weekend. I went and saw three Ween shows oh, in Colorado. Right. How was that? Fucking, it was the best. Ween fucking rules. All you suckers who didn't go, you missed three nights. Ween played 100 different songs over three nights. Man. Yeah, it was fucking sick. So they didn't repeat a single song? They didn't repeat a song. Not even if someone was like, hey, play that song again. No, it was all worked out. They, I guess they worked it out with the lighting technicians and stuff. But, yeah. Uh, they did do, they did a cover of uh, Ace of Spades. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's my uh, favorite movie, Ace Ventura. Yeah, Ace Ventura Spades Detector. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was fun, man. My friend Chris came out and, uh, yeah, you know, fucking went balls to the wall. Spod was there. And his uh, his old lady, her and, yeah, uh, her yeah, her yeah. His old lady Jules, who uh, runs a label or something, and uh, so I'm going to be releasing. And you heard it here first. And just like all of our other projects that we've announced, we've come come through with them 100 percent of the yeah, time. Yeah, everything that we say, we make good on. Yeah, so you can you can trust our word because our word is bond. Yeah, son. Um, gonna, if you don't have your word, what else do you have? A man's word is a man's. Bond. Did you say Bond? This word is Bond, yeah. Yeah, James Bond, Barry Bonds. Uh, I'm going to be releasing an album of uh, of uh, TV show themes. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be good. How many tracks do you think? You know, we'll try to get, I think, at least eight. Uh-huh. I'm not going to limit it to game shows. That was the original idea. TV shows. Yeah, so we'll okay. have some forensic. We'll have a forensic files jam in there. Yeah. We'll do, uh, of course, Family Feud, my my number one hit. Uh huh. Um, Price is Right, Jeopardy. Yes. Forensic files. Yes. Um, and then we'll have to figure out like four. So more. and and is the the underlying theme is these theme songs. Don't have words. Previously did not have yeah. words. Yeah. Okay, so it couldn't be like Family Matters or, right, or the, the Brady or Bunch something. or something Or like actually, that. you know, The Simpsons we probably could do because it only says The Simpsons oh, at yeah. the beginning. Yeah. I bet that'd be the hardest one to get the fucking rights to, though. Yeah, but if it's parody, do you need the rights to it? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see because we also were going to add another layer of... Uh, you know, throw some, like, start freaking it out. Like, you know, like, so the first ver- the first chunk will be, like, uh-huh. you know, like, Family Feud, the way I do it. Yeah. But then when it comes in for a second verse, it'll get fucking, wah, 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 like, it will make it crazy. Yeah. Like, throwing some weirdo, like, you know, like we do on the podcast. I know. That's good, because as of today, you have an, exactly a year to get a Grammy. Oh, yeah. So that's perfect timing. Who, who won the comedy Grammy? I don't know. Oh, let's see. Well, maybe Renee will stop by. He probably has a ton of Grammy news. Yeah. Yeah, lots going on at the Grammys. Where it's like 50 people that you don't know were on stage. That's, uh, yeah, it was annoying on Twitter, man. 
I was just like, everybody, I don't, everybody who thinks they're funny, hey, for all of you out there who think you're funny, <laughs> n- number one, you're not, probably. Oh, no. And number two, you don't have to fucking uh, live tweet every fucking award show yeah. and be all snarky about it. That's your job. It's my job when I feel like doing it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. If I was all swept up in it, I, I would have been right there with everyone else. Well, for me, if something like that is happening and I happen to be watching it, I'll throw a few tweets into the ring because then you have an audience that's kind of ready for it. You know what I mean? That's true. So then you're like, oh, this is a good chance to get a few RTs, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, those of you in the Twitter game, you know you got to get your RTs on. Get your RT on. Okay, let's see who won. The con- well, maybe, I don't know. I'd hate to step on... Fuck it, I'm just going to do it. If Renee comes in, uh, we'll just fucking... Uh, he'll probably just... It's not like he's listening right now, so he'll just do it anyways, and we won't yeah, address he it. Yeah, he already... He's probably on his way. Louis C.K. won okay. Best Comedy Album at the... T- I, I can handle that. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's always weird, because there's always like just like five nominees. Like, this year it was, because I did a Q&A for uh, that Moon Tower Festival that we're doing. Uh-huh, yeah. And they were like, "Who? here are the nominees. Who do you think will win... I saw I, that. I was worried of. I was worried about commenting on it because I was kind of like, "Well, what do I know?" Yeah, I was pretty happy with my. Um, yeah. With my answers, I. Uh, oh, I guess it's not there. Um, but I said it was the the nominees were Wyatt Cenac, Lisa Lampanelli, Louis C.K., Craig Ferguson, and Jay Moore. Uh-huh. Where it's kind of like Craig Ferguson and Jay Moore. Like I don't know seems and lisa lampanelli i don't know it just seems like there's so much comedy out there that to narrow it down to like yeah it's well too. jay moore like where's that even come from i guess because he's famous yeah i, I or think he's probably on like Warner i think Brothers every or single something. person on that list is like huh yeah because it's like yeah louis ck is great but is his Does most recent album yeah the best thing he's done you know that's what yeah. it seems to happen is where they're like oh i guess we'll give a an award um but my answer is you can go to, uh, I don't know, Moon Tower something, comedy.com. Um, and they said, who do you think going to win? Or who should win? And I said, Lisa Lampanelli or Wyatt Snack because they're not white men. And then she said, <laughs> who do you think will win? And I said, uh, I said, one of the white devils. So I was right. <laughs> oh, no. And then she said, who do you think? Doesn't have a chance in hell of winning. And I said, slim job dopamine. <laughs> that's not because a I said, because A, uh, he didn't release an album this year, and B, I made him up. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Slim Job? Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, man, Slim Job. <laughs> <laughs> that's Stephen King's real name. Slim, slim Job Dopamine. Slim Job Dopamine. <laughs> that's a weird ass name, a, son. He's a good guy, though. Yeah, he's definitely good. He is a <laughs> cool motherfucker. Um, that's cool. Hey, uh, should we let the listener in? On, I guess if they've yeah, read take the, it away. You've been working on this for a while. If this they've read a- the title of the episode, they kind of know what's happening. Oh yeah. Um, but so there's a guy. His name is Tim Williams, and uh, if you've seen these commercials for Trivago. Mm-hmm. He's the spokesperson for Trivago. Yeah. So Trivago is like a, I mean, and I'm sure we'll get into some of this in the conversation. He's, but, a, very, he's a very polarizing figure. Yeah. So he's he's a recognizable guy. He's got he's kind of like a, how would you describe him? Like a silver fox. He's kind of a silver fox. He's probably like not as old as well. I don't know. I'd say how old do you think he is? I mean, I'm sure there's a way to find out. But. Um, I would say, I don't know, mid to late forties. I would say mid, yeah, he could be mid forties to mid fifties, really, because you know he's just got one of those looks where you don't know. Yeah, he's a very handsome guy, and he has a, he has a really good voice. He's very like very deep, kind of like raspy, sultry. Yeah, like and kind of that's why I think he's gotten some attention because like he seems to be the commercially seems very sexual. Yeah, he's got he's he's very sexual and uh, and. Um, and it, there was a weird, like, when the commercials first started, he had, like, a, a button-up shirt that was unbuttoned a little too low, and his shirt was tucked into pants with no belt. Yeah, so it was, it was a yeah, shirt showing some chest for no apparent reason, mm-hmm. and shirt tucked into jeans. Yeah. 
no belt, just looked very strange. And yeah, just none of it really fit very well. And we're not shitting on him. We're just like, I think this is why, if you haven't heard of him, kind of Google Trivago guy. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> online about him because, I don't know, I think he just kind of created kind of a buzz because people are like, what's going on with this guy? It's a weird, like it does have a, a foreign feel to it like it's it definitely seems at least canadian yeah because you're like this is off a little bit like or, you know, yeah. the lack of belt the lack of buttons on the shirt at the very least it's like a non-union acting <laughs> yeah. thing it's like the jg wentworth commercial. <laughs> yeah yeah so you know i've been working uh i've been direct messaging this guy on twitter so mm -hmm. and we've been talking about kind of having him skype in for a while and uh you know he's been traveling a lot he's been telling me about how he's traveling he was in germany new york all over the place this guy he tells me about it a lot and uh so we finally we finally nailed him down mm -hmm. and uh we're going to interview him for a while see how it goes just kind of find out more about and if you don't know the travago i'd say pause yeah, the rolling podcast stone, I, yeah pause it and google it there's an article on rolling stone that has a good picture of him <sighs> rollingstone.com and the way they um they, uh, this is, this is how they describe him. They say he's far from your average spoke spokesperson from his overall lack of grooming, must hair, <laughs> slight scruff and a wrinkled wardrobe that looks like the director surprised him on laundry day. And then in parentheses, why is he not wearing a belt yeah. to the bags beneath his eyes, which suggests that he's seen some shit. Uh, he's a rare pitch man of Rare pitch man capable of haunting your dreams while, simulta while simultaneously inflaming your loins. So, I mean, they say that he's sexy. He's sexual. He is. And, I, and what I've noticed is lots of people are tweeting, I, you know, basically, like, I want to have sex with a Trivago guy. Mm -hmm. I think he's hot. And, um, and, I, and he's got to be aware of that. I think he kind of digs for that I bet he's stuff. banging some beef. Got to be. Yeah. And uh, everything else I know about him, we'll get into... In, in the podcast there's a lot i want to know about him okay. for sure so i'm going to call him on skype um and uh so we'll see how this goes this will be this will be interesting right oh, shit there's a clip of uh of him playing music on here yes yes he i know he's a musician <coughs> uh oh i should have made sure that everything was plugged in right oh. As far as the you know our mics going in. Hello. Hey, Randy. How are you? Good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, great. Hey, man. Uh, it's me, Randy, and this is my buddy Brendan. We have a podcast together, and we're happy that you could be here. Hey, how's Go. it going? Hey, Brendan. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Uh, nice. What's going on? Just chilling, like you guys are on a what? What do we have Thursday? What was today? Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Tuesday afternoon, evening, chilling out. Cool. It's, it's uh, uh, unbelievably warm here in Westchester, New York, by the way. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah, it was so friggin' cold, and then now it's, like, really warm, and it's scary. It's weird. Man. Yeah, I've heard it's cold there, in, in New York City, at least. So it just warmed up today? Yeah. Like, I, I walked out this morning, and I was like, oh, my God. It's like, yesterday was freezing, 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 and now it's really warm. It's, it's strange. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. I was just I was in uh, Colorado with uh, with a friend of mine who lives in New York, and the weather was pretty nice in Colorado. And he was dreading going back to New York because he said it's been uh, it's been cold as hell. Yeah, no. I, I, well, you know, it's three or four months of that. I live in Berlin normally, but uh, you know, it's not so bad here considering it's been like one. Not, why, are we, why are we talking about weather? <laughs> because we're boring. <laughs> this is you. Did, Randy didn't tell you this is the most boring podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk about weather. How come I'm not seeing you guys? Should I see? We, should we see each other? Uh, no, we don't. I mean, unless unless you want to stare at us. Well, it would just be one of us. I think just audio is fine. Yeah, it probably works better for the podcast. But if you want to see Randy for a little bit, there he can. Oh, let's see. I'm getting a call, but I'm going to turn it off. I don't know why. <laughs> so uh, you're. Where did you grow up? You didn't grow up in Berlin, did I you? Up, no, I grew up in Houston. I'm I'm putting you on, on uh, the thing here. I grew up in Houston, Houston, Texas. Oh, great! And when did you move out to uh, to Berlin? I uh, oh, I moved. Uh, well, I moved to New York first. I moved to New York in '85. To st Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I, I don't. Uh, uh, moved to New York in '85. St studied acting and stuff, and um, you know, did the whole routine, did the whole the whole shenanigan, and then ended up doing some 
some um, you know, little gigs like Law and Order, Sopranos, and stuff like that. And like you know, anybody who who's an actor who's been living in New York, if they never did Law and Order, I don't know. Come on, <laughs> you didn't who make it. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't trying. <laughs> How long is that show? That show's been on for like that's what twenty years, twenty. How long has it been? It's still on, right? Yeah, different. Law and Order, yeah, but I think they have different like Law and Order, blah blah blah, Law and Order, CS, blah blah blah. There's so many different scenarios of it. Oh my god, you're blowing up. That's fine. You have a lot of other podcasts lined up today. No, no, you're the only podcast I have lined up whatsoever. Today. So why did you move out to Berlin? Um, I, I was, I, I was living in New York. I was married and, uh, uh, and I got a film, took me over there, you know, a lead role in a, in a romantic comedy film. And I went to shoot over there and, and, um, ended up falling in love with the city and, you know, marriage stuff was on the rocks was already at that time. So I was like, I'm just going to chill out over here for a little while in Germany. Yeah. And, and uh, cause I really liked it a lot. You know? And I wasn't in Berlin at that moment. I was in Cologne, but, uh, um, as they call it, Köln in Deutsch. Um, okay. uh, I was there, and, and then I uh, decided, you know, I split up with that girl. <laughs> then I'm going to go to Berlin, see what Berlin's like. And I went to Berlin and fell in love with the city of Berlin. It's really a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful town. It's like New York, or you know, it's like New York, maybe Toronto back in the '80s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was your wife that you split up with. You were yeah. married. Oh, okay. How long were you, were you married for? How long was I married for? Yeah. I've been married twice in my life. Oh, okay. And, and wonderfully so. They were, they were both wonderful, wonderful times in my life. And is your, is, are you currently married now or? Oh, no, no. I won't do that again. <laughs> nice. Well, that's good. <laughs> that, uh, that would hold you back. You're probably getting a lot of uh, tri Trivago beaver at this point. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Trivago beaver. <laughs> Where are you guys? Uh, we're in Los Angeles. Okay, right on. I was thinking of coming out that way. I was gonna. I was actually gonna be out that way. I was supposed to be out there, but I'm here. I'm yeah. Here. Um, yeah. Are you going back to Berlin, or are you in New York for now? Uh, I'm in New York for a while. I'm in New York for the next uh, two months or so, and then I'm gonna head back to uh, Berlin, and and I have to do some stuff in Berlin. I have to shoot some more Travago stuff in the coming weeks. Oh, awesome! And that shoots in in Berlin. Yeah, it shoots in Berlin. I've shot everything in Berlin. I'm, I think I'm the only Travago guy who's. No, I can't say that because there's other Trivago people in the world, you know, who are doing this stuff. Oh. And, yeah, like in Spain, Japan, blah, 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 Italy, they're, they're doing it all over. And uh, Germany as well. And um, they, they sometimes go to, like, you know, private mansions and do stuff by a pool. And I'm like, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. They just stick you in, like, a green screen room, it looks like. When am I going to get out of the green screen? <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys seeing me? Yeah, I can see you. Oh my God! You look, okay. you look great. I'll see you guys though. You want to see us? Oh man. <laughs> okay. No, it's not I mean, fair. It's you'll not just fair. see me though. There I am. There we go. And then Dude, you're a funny man, by the way. Oh, thanks, tell. man. Brendan's a very funny guy too. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. It's good to meet you, you face to face. <laughs> uh, cool. I, I have to learn more about this stuff. You know. Oh no! No advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. We've been doing the podcast for four years, almost four years. Yeah, we Somewhere did, around there. did over 200 episodes. This is like our 210th or 11th episode or something. Yeah. Or... So the, uh, the, the... Are we live right now or no? No, no. We'll post this today, though. Yeah. It's cool. a, we'll, yeah. We'll, we record it and then we'll post it in a couple hours. Um, so I'm at my friend's house in Westchester. The dog is gone. Everybody's gone. I'm just chilling out by myself. And a friend of mine that I haven't seen in... This might be funny because she might be walking in at any minute. Oh, that'll be good. I haven't seen her in about 15 years. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and, and really sad thing. I mean, uh, but he's one of my best friends. Her brother, he had, he had passed away, unfortunately. God bless him. Uh, but, you know, it's, it, uh, that's one thing. But now I haven't seen her in 15 to 17 years. So if she walks in here, guys, in a minute, her name is Julie Coulter. And her father was Elliot Coulter. He was a big... Uh, insurance guy over here in Westchester and he took care of like the the who he was responsible for some big rock and roll concerts back in the days oh wow but he's in the insurance business as well I think still I'm not sure what she's doing these days but yeah 
Well, uh, um, well, we'll, we'll uh, yeah, we'll let you go when she shows up because I'm sure you got no, a lot of. No, uh, Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> well, we so well, we do have some questions. I'm sure you've been. Uh, I'm sure you've probably been asked a lot of these questions already, but um, huh, where to begin? Well, one thing I'm kind of fascinated with is like so. Trivago is like you know, it's it's another one. It seems like there's a lot of sites like that, you know, like these travel sites where you compare. You know, it, it compiles everything. It's like an aggregation of all the, you know, hotels and everything. Yeah. Uh, so how does that, I'm curious about all those sites. Like, how do they make money? Is it, do they get paid by the, do you know how <laughs> the whole business end of that works? Um, that's, that's a business question. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, neither do we. That's right. Yeah, neither yeah. do we. That's, I'm just, I, I would think that, I would think that, you know, they're, they're paid a percentage of, uh, of what maybe a room cost or something. I have yeah. no idea. You so know, I really, people, I, I'm curious about that myself. Okay. Maybe it works like, cause we have on our website, we have an Amazon portal where if you, if you click on that portal on our website and then buy something on Amazon, we get a percentage of what you bought because it was all funneled through our website. So maybe it's like that. Yeah. If you buy a plane ticket through them. They, yeah, they just give up a, a small percentage of it or whatever. But the um, – and I know this has been – but the first commercials that, that you did, people talked about your look a lot with the, uh, with the shirt being unbuttoned, uh, maybe one extra button, and the lack of belt was that uh, – was that something that they – was that just the way you, you showed up that day or did they <laughs> dress you that way? That was – that was that – was, uh, I mean, I, come on. It was like the first commercial we were doing for the North American market. And, and um, I, I was doing another television show. I was living in Germany, of course, at the time. And it's a German company, Trivago, out of Dusseldorf. And we were shooting in Berlin. And, and I was shooting another television show in Berlin at the moment. So I could not – the the facial hair doesn't come back so quickly, you know, mm -hmm. for me. I mean, compared to look at you, Randy. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, you I know? got I have a beard. Yeah, he shaved this so, morning. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the whole thing. So I I had to have some some facial hair on my face because I think I don't know what days it was we were shooting, but it was corresponding directly when I had to shoot the other TV show. Oh, okay. And I and I couldn't cut my hair as short as Travago would like to have cut my hair. So I was like, do you guys, you know, you guys can cut it up to here. Da, da, da. They had certain rules that they had to, to abide by. And, and we, we came to a medium agreement and said, OK, this is where we're going. And then came to the costume and, and, and you know, styling. And, um, you know, as you know, you're doing all these things, too. Sometimes they're doing styling fittings and stuff. And uh, that's the worst part of my life. I hate doing that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ate it. I sweat. It's hot. You know, I'm like, what the hell? What do I got to put all this shit on? And there was not much stuff at that moment. Mm -hmm. Somebody's coming in the door. Oh, no. But, uh, but uh, anyway, I, uh, um, I, uh, I, I put the pants on. I put the clothes on. We tried different things. And we came up with this one idea, and I guess that was it. You know, it was like, they like this shirt. Oh, we like these jeans. Uh, let's put a belt on. And it was like, oh, all of a sudden the belt's not seemingly it's not fitting the 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 belt loops you know uh -huh. it's not going in properly or whatever so uh, let's scrap the belt and we went without a belt and that was it and the rest is history <laughs> i don't know that people talked about it god thanks thank well, you yeah it worked right because now it's like that really that that made yeah you became like this weird kind of cult uh uh, uh commercial guy we were like, who, who the fuck is this guy without a belt <laughs> Sh <laughs> showing off his chest <laughs> Oh, yeah, here. Oh, he's showing his chest. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. nice. <laughs> no, that's, that's for the Travago fans. Well, and then we noticed, you know, like the, the more recent ones, you, you had a belt, <laughs> you had a, a, you know, your shirt was buttoned up a little bit more. And uh, so they... In the presidential ones? Um, I don't know. Is that the most recent ones? Have you been watching? Yeah, you, you haven't been watching the debates at all? No, I haven't seen the debates. So oh, my they God. They played during the debates? You have to find the presidential... Uh, uh, things oh, yes. I will. once because they're 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 very funny and i i think we do a great job uh of having fun as you would say with uh, the political situation yeah <laughs> so since but, you've been doing these do you get you you probably get recognized like crazy when you're over when you're here in the states right it's getting more so it's getting more so you know 
it's part of the business, as you know as well. You know, it's part of the if you're in front of a camera or something like that, and you're out there a bit, it's part of the work. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good sometimes, and sometimes it's annoying. Yeah, but it's it's also scary when you, when you read some tweets and stuff, and people say like, you know, please somebody please kill the Travago guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, shit, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> you walk down the street. Goes, yeah, gonna... <laughs> I've done some things where people were like, "Let's kill this guy." Yeah. So I get it. Uh, <laughs> But also, no. but also, you're getting positive things. You're getting people saying they want to have sex with you and stuff like that too. Yeah, there's some. There's a, there, uh, I think there's a gay site that wants to fuck my van. Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your mangina? Is that what you said? Yeah, my mangina. You know, they're, 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 something like that. There's, and uh, the, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of them out there. There's, there's also there's out. some in between. This I don't actually... look at them all, but there's a lot of them out there. There's a good. I went to when I was in Colorado this week. I went to uh, some concerts. Uh, this this band Ween was playing. Oh yeah. And uh, I love Ween. Oh yeah, they're great, man. They did three shows in a row at uh, in uh, Broomfield, Colorado. And Hold on uh, a second. I was down on the uh, down yeah. on the floor, and they had beer guys coming around. And uh, a beer guy rec- the beer guy recognized me oh, from great. at midnight. And he gave me a free beer, so it's like it's always. Uh, yeah, it happens very rarely yeah. with me, but and it always happens when no one's around because my friend left to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I sold uh, I sold a bike on Craigslist um, this week, and the guy who bought it from me texted me later and was like, "Well, I wanted to say something, but I'm a big fan of your comedy." This guy <laughs> who happened to buy my bike now he knows where I live and has my phone number. Yeah, I come back and tell you. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but you must get so I didn't realize that that so there's a, there's a like a, a whole kind of gay thing that that uh, like gay guys are really digging you they have a whole site about <laughs> about you but you must get like uh, I mean there must be tons of women throwing themselves at you right yeah there's <laughs> there's some crazy ones out there I'll tell you that <laughs> yeah but there's got to be some normal ones every now and then right like. Uh, it's unbelievable, dude. It's unbelievable. You know, come on. It's, it's strange. It's strange. I guess that's also part of the business. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it can be. It's not always. Oh, not, not for I mean, us. We could write comic books about this stuff, you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think that people are buying it and laughing and reading it and, you know. Yeah, you should we, do that. A lot of money. Have you been offered or have you done any, like, um, have any late night shows like Conan or Jimmy Fallon or any, as, as, have you done any kind of, like, parody or just uh, cameo appearances in anything? They haven't really hit yet, you know. I mean, that, that'd, be, that'd be a wonderful opportunity. I, I, know, I know you, Randy, have done those shows and, and I've watched it and it's been so much fun to watch you on those shows because you're, you're a hilarious man. Oh, I want to thank you. Thank- you're 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 probably one of my number one new comedian right now. That, oh my that, gosh! Wow. You hear that, guys? <laughs> I'm the Travago guy's favorite comedian. He said number one new comedian. Oh, okay. He's very okay. careful he was... about his words. One comedian. So, <laughs> you know, um, really, I, I mean that truthfully. Oh wow! And, um, but to do something like that would be would be an honor, of course. And uh, uh, when that opportunity comes along, of course, uh, I hope you're on the show as well. Do you have um, so contractually you could do something like you could do a walk on on a show or or whatever? Like there's nothing like you know like for example like Conan could say, oh, we have the and here to read whatever the top ten list. I know that's a, but just an example like here to well, do this is the Travago guy, and you come out with any moment of the day. I'm not contractual under any agreement. I can do that, of course. Yeah. yeah. I think Travago would be happy if I Yeah, you should it. keep in touch. If you come out to LA, I think we have a show that you could definitely yeah, yeah. that we're working on that you could definitely do. Well, keep me keep me posted. You yeah, know, you have my fun. information. Yeah, yeah, we'll pitch it when we go back to work on Monday. You know, <laughs> wait, on what? Monday. We have the week off. Oh, you have the whole week off. Yeah, yeah, yeah not taping this week. We wait, don't, wait, we, when's your next gig in New York, Randy? Uh, I don't have any any plans to go to New York, but I, I probably I'm will on the next. A post right now about you on your on your on your your podcast. What's that? You want to have any gigs? Uh, uh, should we talk about any upcoming gigs while we're on your podcast together? Um, what do you mean, like my gigs or? You have any upcoming gigs? Um, well, we have some stuff. Brendan and I are going to Austin. We're going to yeah. be doing a festival I'm, in Austin. I'm, I'm also a comedian, Travago guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see you. Get in the camera. Oh, yeah, we? Okay, well, we're, we it's the way we're set up is I'm... Uh, there you are. Over here. There but, you go. Uh, we're Hold going... on one second. One second, would you? Yeah. 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 Hey, Colleen? Yeah. It's okay. You can speak loud. It's all right. She just doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at Colleen. Well, no, no, we're not recording not, it. It's not my friend, Julie, who I haven't oh. seen it. 15 years okay this is colleen whose house i'm staying in oh, okay 
think my friend is here, Julie. Julie. Hold one second, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time, man. Hold one second. Yeah, no problem. I think Julie's here. She's asking which corner I'm at. And then she's like, which corner? Julie, she's an old friend of mine. She's coming to pick me up and we're going to... Oh, she's here. Yeah, she's... Uh, you guys have a moment? Yeah, yeah, just put us on hold. We we, we can keep ourselves busy. Put you on hold. Or, yeah, you can... Yeah, just walk away. We'll keep talking. Yeah. Except for now that whole room can hear what we're saying in that house. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we have to keep it... Um, cause we can't. Do you want me to pause it or should we just keep talking? We just keep talking. Okay. It's pretty exciting. It's going pretty good so far. Yeah, man. I'm his favorite comedian. I'm into that. He hasn't seen any clips of you, though. So I, Also, I don't know how many clips of other comedians he's seen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm the uh, the only comedian he's seen, probably. So that's yeah. why he likes me so much. Yeah, I don't know. We should uh, we should just go do a show in New York. Hey. hey. I just want to say, this is Julie. Julie. Julie, I haven't seen her in 15 years. There's going to be excitement in a minute. She knows I'm doing the podcast. Oh, so man. Yeah. Welcome, Julie. Hi. Hey. Well, uh, we heard your dad is a big uh, insurance agent of the of the stars. Talked about Elliot. Oh my God! Yes, he. Well, yes, he was. <laughs> I guess that means that I. Whoa! Am who's now. that dog? Oh, there's a dog on camera. That looks now. like the happiest dog ever. Yeah, the happiest <laughs> dog ever. <laughs> met a long time He's ago. a crazy well, nut. Billy Coulter, Alan Steyer. You met her at the country club. <laughs> Sorry, isn't that great? This stuff? is great. Love this it. Great. So you're doing. Um, Okay, so uh, so we got the story on the no belt. You're doing a, you're on a, a soap opera in in Germany or something or what? what were you I saying? was I was doing that. I was I was doing that a while ago, and uh, that that is, has since stopped. Yeah, and for for me, I mean at least. Yeah. And, uh, Did you have to speak German? Yeah, I was speaking German. I was speaking German. I was just being there for like 14 years. You start picking up the language a bit. And, yeah. Uh, you know, you you have to uh, if you want to work over there in the business. Yeah. <laughs> and um, um, so it was basically it was really cool because I got to play an American rock star. I was playing an American rock star who goes back to Germany and finds after 17 years later that he has a, a, a daughter through a groupie. Nice. Uh, you know, so and I wanted to go back and raise my daughter after, you know, meeting her after she's 17 years old and raise, uh, raise her to be a groupie. Well, <laughs> yeah, look at you, Brendan. I see you over there. Brendan or Brandon? Brendan. 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 Okay. All right. You guys, you're a comedian as well? Yeah. Yeah, he's a more popular comedian than I am. But you guys are also writers, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we write and act. Yeah, we're actors, writers. We're Hollywood-based. We're a bunch of, we're a couple of Hollywood bunch assholes. Of ponies. <laughs> are you making music? Um, yeah, we've made some music. Yeah, we've made some music. I mean, guys. neither of us are like that musically talented, but we have a... a music producer for and he's made like our theme song is made by him it's a pretty good song yeah and anyway, i played in we should uh, hang out one day out in la a couple yeah man couple. yeah we so, should do it i lived in uh it. i lived in austin for like 10 years and i played in some bands there and stuff but uh nothing great, really took off. great music town if, if i ever moved back to texas i, I, I think it would be austin I, I come from houston i was born there but and i went to school in austin i went to ut for three months oh okay after graduating college, I went uh, uh, graduating high school. I went to three months of, I would call it summer camp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Austin's uh, the only. I mean, it's it's you know nothing against Houston or, Austin's just the best place in Texas, hand down. It's it's yeah. It's just, no, I mean, there's nature. There's more nature. There's woods. There's there's lakes and stuff. It's just a really remarkable. I mean, you get that also in Houston, but yeah. it's different. It's different. A little more chilled and more rela relaxed. We're yeah. going to be there in April. Me and Randy are doing some shows in April. If, uh, April in Austin? Yeah. yeah. And a live podcast, too. Yeah. In January, February, March. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, my, my, I think I have a little boy over. I have two boys, actually. He's a 26-year-old and a 6-year-old. Oh, nice. The old one is called Chase. His name is Chase. And then my little boy, his name is Jack. And Jack and, and his mom, Danya, I think they're going to try to come over in March. And then we have April. When in April? Early April? No, it's uh, like the end. I think it's April 20th. Let's see. Yeah, you could be our gu a guest on our podcast. Put on, just just put, put that on the, the podcast. 20th okay. through the 23rd. Maybe I'll come over there and bring the family down and bring the whole family. Yeah, <laughs> and man. get a That'd babysitter. That yeah, night, you, could sure. be a, you could be a guest on our live podcast in yeah. front of an audience. You could host a comedy show or something. That would be fun. Yeah. That'd I mean, your 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 comedy cracks my ass up. 
Just, <laughs> thanks, man. I was, you know, I had to do my little homework before I was checking you out. Today. Yeah. Stuff you talk about and things you talk about and how you set it up. Uh -huh. Your setup is remarkable. Oh, it, thanks, uh, man. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm not a comedian, but uh, you know, I know it takes some timing and there's setup work to be done, and you guys have come up with some funny material. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's just for Randy. Just for Randy. Though. You'll have to check out Brendan. He's very funny, too. All right, Brendan, I have never seen your work. Would you do my TV show? Yeah, of course. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to write a TV show. I'm getting something done. So so we get something in the works, uh, yeah. in the pipeline. This is good. I'm this also working on a film right now, a film script with a buddy of mine, Tiagi. It's going to yeah. be a great story. Uh, <laughs> very. Uh, I, would, I, would, I, wouldn't, I don't even want to declare what it would be right now yeah no don't, our don't. fans steal our ideas all yeah, the time our fans are yeah, a bunch of can't, you can't do that you can't, no. you can't talk about it too much just what? just say there's some stuff in the pipeline yes so. definitely I, I think this is the beginning of a, of a beautiful uh, yeah. friendship friendship and business relationship, and business relationship. yeah um, for sure oh shit now i see you guys i don't think we uh um we do we say your real name Tim. Tim. Julie Coulter, Tim. here she is. This okay. is the one I haven't seen in years. Julie's back. Hey, Julie. Years, and years, you guys are years. out in Hollywood? Yeah. yeah, Hollywood proper. Yeah. What did you say? Be next week. I'll be there next week. Oh, great. Yeah, enjoy the uh, the weather. It's going to be good. I've inherited dad's business, so. Oh, okay. Food okay. insurance as well. What, what's your company called? Jay Coulter and Company. Oh, Jay nice. Coulter and, and I, Company. We do mostly... I do entertainment insurance, but mostly musicians, bands, promoter, you know, promoter studios. Who are equipment. some of the? Uh, who are some of the? Who Who are some of your clients that, that maybe we could? Uh, do, you, do you want to hear some of who her dad's clients were? Yeah, sure. Like, do you want to say? Do you, want, do you want to hear? Do you want to hear? Who? <laughs> oh. Some my her dad clients insured were? the Who when I was a kid. My dad insured the Who. Oh, what wow. did he? What did he? He insured them during actually the whole that thing. That whole in big thing that happened. You know, yeah. or was it '69? I don't know. Seventy something early that, that time period, and wanna, he came home one day and he said to me, Hello. "Do you know this band? Do you know this band, the Who? Do you know, know what about this Keith anyway. Moon?" I'm like, "What's the matter?" He's like, "If one it's more, if he throws one more TV." <laughs> out of a hot, out of a hotel room, uh, I gotta get the accountants to pay for it because the insurance doesn't want to carry them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> true stories. Oh, that's true crazy. Stories. I got a lot of funny true stories like that. Yeah, yeah, that'd have been a tough still, band to insure. Still, I still handle several ce celebrity clients, and a lot of them are old. I seem okay. to have the the new thing seems to be midgets. Classic. <laughs> Wait, what? Classic where one of my promoters said, I said, you're going to do this show? And he said, he said, Julie, my Small, only fear people, that sorry. I really need to insure against is that somebody doesn't die on stage because oh. they're all so old. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> what kind of uh, midget insurance do you provide if they fall off of a curb? And, oh, midget and, uh... insurance, I don't do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm short enough. I don't need that. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me talk to you guys. <laughs> hang on a second. Just hang on a second. Well, you, you play music too, don't you, Tim? Yeah, I do. I do. I play. I do play some music. Make up some songs and stuff. Do you still have a band that you play out with? Or? Um, I have a band that I can call and be like, let's go and get together and rehearse for a week these songs and get together and go play. Yeah, I yeah. do that. Uh, is that in Germany? They're much younger than I am. The band, which is funny enough. I mean, because the. I work with it's, it's my story. I, I work with this guy called Herbert Grunemeyer, also in, Ger in Germany. He's like, um, if I had to describe him to the American public, he would be like the German uh, Bruce Springsteen. He's hugely known over there in all the German speaking lands and uh, beyond. And uh, he's worked with Bono, he works with Anton Corbin a lot, and uh, he's, he's, he's the biggest artist in Germany, one of the biggest artists. And, and I, I take care of his band sometimes since 2002. I needed a job back in 2002, and a buddy of mine called me and he said, hey man, why don't you come on the road with us and hang out and, you know, just kind of take care of the band and hang out and be part of the band and work with the band and stuff. And I was like, all right, all right. And I always loved music. I mean, it was either I was going to be an actor or I was going to do something with music. Now you got it, both. 
Either or. Now, now I've got both. Of course, is, you know, is, when you start making some kind of any kind of success, you have a little bit of uh, boundaries. You, you don't have any boundaries. You can go anywhere you want, but you you uh you have a wall to work in. Is uh is David Hasselhoff as popular in Germany as people say he is? Good question. <laughs> Uh, it, it's really funny. I just, I, you know, there was a moment they wanted to take down. There's a whole mile section of the wall that's still up, and they wanted to bring it down and and, and tear it down. And and Hasselhoff came over. Funny enough, he 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 came over to sing about bring the wall down years ago, <laughs> and he was singing about keeping the wall up. Mm. Why do they want to keep? You know, it's wait, only a section. Before it's our stu- before you remember. move on, for our stupid listeners, you're talking about the Berlin Wall. <laughs> <laughs> but to remember, to remember that moment, you know, to remember yeah. uh, the moment when it came down, when he was there, and I was there, and I saw him, and he was in the back of this little red truck. I mean, it might look like a big red truck. I don't know, like Clifford, big red dog. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But it was a big red truck, and, and he was in the back of it, and he would stick his head out every once in a while, and he was singing that song, you know, the same song he sang 25 years ago. What is it? What, what's that song? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what song. <laughs> don't know. The Baywatch theme song? You'll, no, <laughs> the Baywatch theme song, yes. I don't even know that song. I don't either. I don't either, either. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's something about uh, we can find it here. Yeah, it's a powerful tune. Yeah. What'd you say? Well, no, no, Julie. She said she's going to be staying with one of the Baywatch producers out in LA. When I'm out I hope there. you're not doing Baywatch things with him. No. Okay. <laughs> well, that's probably another old guy by now, right? I'm sorry. Uh, he's probably another one of those old celebrities. Oh, here, <laughs> here's the Baywatch theme. Yeah, something like into the night or something like yeah, that. It's powerful, <laughs> rising to the top. Or oh, this doesn't have the lyrics. Oh, it doesn't have the lyrics, but you remember it now. Yeah, <laughs> they're funny shit. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, Keep it's it. very of that era where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his shades on. Oh shit, man! <laughs> I was getting ready for the Baywatch. Oh, show. okay. Yeah, it's, uh, do you want to see if you can find it with lyrics? Oh, you want me to find it with lyrics? Let's see. Here, this is our wonderful I don't know. All of them are like. Or he came home at once here. It's cover. <laughs> oh, maybe this but is he it. Came home at once. No, same. Yeah. Huh. No, it'll be hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where are you going, one. Alan? Alan's going to walk the dog. Colleen's upstairs. Have you seen Colleen? She's upstairs. Go say hello. What's that dog's name? The dog? Yeah, what's his name? Louis is the best dog in the world. Louis! Hey, Louis! Get your ball. Is he looking? Get your ball. Get the squirrel, Louis. Get the ball. Get him. Get him, Louis. Hey, Louis. Louis. Hey, buddy. (laughs) Louis likes me. Louis, Louis, Louis. Louis. That's Alan. Louis. Hey, Alan. Podcast. That's oh, Randy. Gosh. That's Randy and Brendan. Hello, Randy. Hello, Brendan. Oh, hey, how's it going? Seems like you have quite a crew over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It was a cat. We're trying to get the dog riled up. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that earlier. Get the cat, Louie. Get him. Louie, Louie. Louie, you sent Louie back. You guys are nuts. <laughs> Hold on a second. I have a sip of beer. Oh, yeah. What kind of beer are you drinking? A little something. <laughs> so, what are you doing tonight? You're going. You're going out to party. A little something, really. Oh yeah. Oh, it is called a little something. It's a little, oh, Lagunitas. Like, yeah. I like that company. What? Lagunitas. That's the brewing company. They're, uh, yeah, they put out yeah, good beer. Yeah, it's a brewing company, but little something. He said little yeah. something. Oh, little something something ale. Oh, it's different. It's little something, something ale. It's it's a little harsh for my liking, but yeah, yeah, very hoppy, right? Like a, like normally, I like a pilsner. Yeah, like a like an Oktoberfest. Uh, oh German no, pilsner. no, sorry, Randy. No, <laughs> no, an Oktoberfest. No, that's a sty- that's a style of lager. Uh, they have an Oktoberfest, and they have. I used to brew beer. I'm trying to think. Oh, the, oh really? The German styles. My, my cousin does that. Yeah, my cousin, my cousin Miles. His name is Miles. We found Miles uh, Williams. He's he's brewing some two drunk dogs. Okay. In, in Houston. Oh, nice. We'll have to look for that. Uh, yeah. 
Me and Randy found 30 beers in our trash can. <laughs> we found 30 beers? Yeah, we found uh, two 18 packs of uh, Budweiser in the trash can the other day. <laughs> Empty or full? Full, completely full. full so we, full can. We, we still have them in the fridge for any time someone wants serious? to come over and drink so my trash beer. Gift. Yeah, the someone, trash, someone the just, garbage the trash man gave you a gift. Someone just threw them out. They were yeah. just we live in the same apartment building, me and this guy. So we just someone got rid of their beer and we took it. Yeah, I guess somebody decided to get sober and just emptied out their, their fridge yeah, or yeah. something. Go <laughs> your next door neighbor. Oh shit. Let me ask you guys, did you guys go jogging this morning? No, but we're gonna go on a walk after this. Yeah, we're gonna go on a hike after this around. You gonna go up in the canyon? Uh no, we live near the Silver Lake uh, reservoir, so we're gonna go walk around the res. Man, I, what's the weather like there right it's now? It's pretty hot today. It's, pretty warm. it's like probably close to 90. It says 82. Are you serious? Yeah. 82 right now. Yeah, 82. But in the sun, it's pretty brutal. It was 90 a couple days ago. It was pretty oh ridiculous. God. You know, I'm, I'm living 88, in a long 88 place. right now. I'm living over there. Yeah, it's 88 degrees right now, so fuck that. I can't wait to meet you guys in person. I can't yeah, man. Guys, it's going to be a blast. Yeah. It will. Yeah, we'll do something fun. Give us a heads up. We, uh, yeah, we'll plan something fun. We'll yeah, come out there. Well, wait, you, you guys going to be in town for the next couple of weeks, and then you're leaving? Uh, we're around. I'm going to. You can't to talk come. about that. Tell me about that privately if you want. Oh, no, no. no. Yeah, no. We. I mean, we each have some kind of like club weekends coming up. Like in two weeks, I'm gone. I'm going to Tacoma this weekend to do yeah. some comedy. But we're mostly in L.A., and then uh, together we'll be in uh, Austin in April. All right. What's your best impersonation? Who can you do, Randy? What's your best? Can you do like? Uh, can you do uh, Willie Willie Nelson or? Will no, I can't, I'm not. I can't do any impressions. Let's. Do you know uh, the song? Uh, Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. I know the song. Yeah. Should I sing a karaoke version of it? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it together. I'll okay. do. I'll do. You know. There's. There, I'll do the 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 Waylon Jennings if you want to do the Willie Nelson because you have red hair. Okay. Uh, ah! Yeah, put the music on. I'm going to find the karaoke it. version of it. Just a second. And you guys, so you guys don't know what you're doing tonight? I'm just going to go paint the town we're, red. We're chilling out. We're going to watch, uh, we're going to watch reruns of uh, rerun. You know the, the, the rerun? What's happening? Rerun? Yeah, exactly. We're going to watch reruns of him. Rerun. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> I would do that. I used to watch, I used to love that yeah. show when I was a kid. Oh, sorry. There's, there's, there's an advertisement on it. Cowboys ain't easy. Oh, wait, wait. Love, but they're harder to hold. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> One second. We got to get rid of this ad, and there's no way to yeah, do it. Yeah, fucking ads. Nothing, no offense. No offense. <laughs> I we, hate we ads. We love ads. Except for the Chivago <laughs> ad. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Search for hotel online. Here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, he hung up. Just hung up. Wait, what happened? Did he mean to hang up? He was kind of waving, wasn't he? Yeah. He said something about searching for a hotel online. Yeah, yeah maybe maybe that's how he says goodbye. Just <laughs> Hello? I mean, we built up to this song. Yeah. Hey, are you there, Tim? Hey, hang on a second. I had to... Uh... Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry. We had. To... Uh, I went to my phone because my iPad ran out. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. We had to mute. But, uh, we couldn't like, hear what you were I, saying. I have the camera. You can still see, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's not important. If uh... what's important is the the. All right, let's do it. So here, he, Randy, you and Randy will do the duet. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I know this. Cowboys. Cowboys ain't, ain't easy to love, and they're harder. Hard. Oh, he's doing good. Maybe I'll just let you do it. They'd rather give you a song than diamonds of gold. Don't stop belt buckles and old faded Levi's. Each night you get a new day. If you don't understand him, he don't die young. He'll probably just ride away. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars and drive them old trucks. Let them be doctors and lawyers and such. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. They'll never stay home, they're always alone. Even with someone they love. 
boards like smoky old pool rooms and clear mountain morning. Little warm puppies and children and girls of the night. Them that don't know him won't like him and them that do sometimes won't know how to take him. He ain't wrong, he's just different, but his pride won't let him do things to make you think he's right. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars and drive them old trucks. Let them be doctors and lawyers and such. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be Cowboys. They'll never stay home, they're always alone. Even with someone they love. All right, I'm done with that. That was beautiful. That was great. <laughs> you guys laughed your asses off. Oh, that was amazing. No, that was fantastic. Well, you know, I think this is a good place to end. We, we appreciate you doing the podcast, and uh, it was great to meet you and everyone. Uh, Everyone in the house and the thank dog. You. Yeah. Thank they said you too. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, Tim. Thanks so much, Tim. We'll keep in touch and uh, yeah, let's do some, uh, we'll get into some shit out here in LA. For sure. Let's get together. As soon as I'm uh, out there, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll, I'll write you guys. I'll write you, Randy, and let you know. Awesome. Great, man. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you, buddy. Stay in touch, will you? Yeah, we will. Can you send me a copy of this when it comes out? Uh, yeah, I'll send you. Uh, oh, look, we're playing another song on accident. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I'll send you the link to uh, to this podcast. Yeah, it'll be out in a few hours. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> you guys are the best. Love you guys. Be right. good. Ooh, I love you. See you, buddy. Love you, Tim. No, no, no. no well, not like that. No, I do. I, I, <laughs> I mean, do I mean do. it like I'll that. I'll hug you. I'll... You heard it, guys. <laughs> the Trivago guy loves us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he sang a karaoke song. That's pretty true to form for our podcast. That's pretty good, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even have to look at the lyrics. No, let's let's do a recap. Here it is again. Don't let them pick guitars. Oh, how do you get the sound? Why does it record? Let them this. be doctors and lawyers and such. <laughs> oh, I ruined it. I should. It's fine. Along. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was great. Um, I don't know, like exactly how funny of a podcast it is i think it's an interesting one yeah um i've been wanting to talk to the trivago guy for over a year so i mean who gets to talk to the trivago guy for uh 45 minutes <laughs> it seems like just about anybody could <laughs> <laughs> at this point he's a super nice guy but yeah. he would well maybe the it sounds like the fact that you i mean i don't know what your guy's interaction was like but um uh he's i'm his favorite comedian yeah yeah <laughs> You're his number one new comedian. <laughs> I'm number uh, one. Mm -hmm. I'm the number one comedian for him. That's how I took it. But I bet that uh, that helped add lend some credibility yes. to like yeah, you know, yeah. or it's like, hey, look, I've been yeah. on TV. No, I like the position that I'm in right now on Twitter, where it's like I'm not famous. I don't have the most followers, but yeah. if I reach out to someone that I that I think is interesting and isn't the yeah. most famous person in the world, I can hopefully generally yeah. get a re reply at least. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of amazed that he hasn't had, uh, that he hasn't done anything like on SNL or, or Conan or so. I don't know. It just seems like, like if it was so easy for us to get him to do this. I know. Yeah. I think he seemed really into the idea of, yeah, I wonder, you know, like when that first Trivago commercial came out, I bet that would have been the perfect time for people to jump on that. I mean, yeah. they're still shooting him. So, yeah, but I think. Or like a reoccurring, like a reoccurring thing on Conan would be funny, mm -hmm. where it's like the something something with the Trivago guy. Yeah, it could be just about like, you know, karaoke with the Trivago guy, or like something completely obscure. Have the Trivago guy come out and sing a song, yeah, or he just comes out and does a parody of the commercial for something like Finding Hookers or whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like we looked at the contract that he has with Trivago, and there's nothing yeah. against his contract that says he can't. Do a fake commercial yeah. for hookers. Or like, yeah, or like finding a good place to poop in a city. Like if you have to take a number two. And yeah. Just, and and like, like how he touches the... Yeah, like the, the Matrix style <laughs> uh, sliding screen. Or what, Minority yeah. Report. Minority Report, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that's great. Um, well, cool. Well, you guys asked for it and you got it. Yeah. Trivago Every guy. time you ask for something, we deliver. Yeah. Trivago guy, check. Yeah. And now he's our... Lenny life. Kravitz. Check. Jack Black. Check. Check. Uh, Spod. 
Spod. Check. Check. Al Madrigal. Check. Uh, uh, who's another? Um, we had... Uh, we had Pendleton Ward on in the past. Check. That's true. Check. Uh, Brendan Small. Brendan Small. Check. I mean, this uh, is like, basically, it's WTF, but yeah. just a little more uh, SNL's fun. Beck Bennett. Yeah. Check. Check. Oh, you know, I'm actually in uh, in conversation with maybe a, a really big guest right now. Oh. Oh, um, I think I might know who it is. Do you? Is it is, Does it involve Beck Bennett, kind of? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I think I talked to... Their other friend, well, I don't know. We, we talk about it on the... It's a lady. Oh, it's a lady. Oh, okay. No, then I don't know who it is. Lady, but but uh, you've met her, and she would be a good guest. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? Carmen Lynch is still in town. Oh, yeah, so we, we should do one with Carmen Lynch. Um, hmm. Well, guys, I hope... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that was... Uh, I mean, you know you know how the podcast goes. We talked to the Trivago guy for, for a while. We yeah. Didn't, we didn't call any phone sex. But we did get him to uh, sing a song, unprompted. Yeah. Unprompted, sang a song, and talked about kind of how he has a lot of sex, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool of him. Yeah. We should have written down some. Well, it was kind of, it was kind of hard to conduct an interview because he had people coming in. Too. Yeah, I thought it was perfect. Yeah. Very casual. He was drinking a beer. And uh, yeah, yeah. It was a... Uh, well, I don't... Uh-oh. I think we should just end it right there. That's a good place to end it. We could. But um, wait. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Hey, man. We uh... just got done. We're done. Hey, exclusive eggheads. This is Renee Fabergé here with all the breaking gossip news. Last night was a glittery night for the Grammys. Walking away with top honors. We had guess who? It was... Taylor Swift once again at the Comedy Awards. What do you think?